the two questions that lead to success. I'd like to take just a few minutes and talk about something that is critical in this or any other business that you want to start or continue, for that matter. Focus. I and internet marketing, focus becomes absolutely critical because it's very easy for the large number of things that are possible to distract you. There are so many ways to make money online, so many profitable niches, so many variations on the theme, frankly, there are a lot of bright and shiny objects on the internet that can take your attention, your focus away from what it should be on. The mere fact that we use social media as one of the ways to communicate with our communities can be a distraction. You can lose hours on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, just watching what your friends are doing and replying to fun comments or posts. YouTube has hundreds of thousands of hours of video that are quite entertaining. Some are even educational and can teach you a lot about your new business online, but even these may not be what you need to focus on at this moment. Point one of the best acronyms I've seen that uses the word focus is follow one course until successful or follow one course until success. This is so true. When I began my online business, it was very easy for me to get distracted and unfocused to the point where I was paying attention to things that were not yielding fruit. In other words, I was chasing a lot of rainbows. If we are going to follow one course until success, we need a strategy. As a coaching opportunity here, I'd like to teach you a simple strategy, something that has helped me and hundreds of others through this process. It's two simple questions that I used coaching soccer for many years. This is the first strategy, the first technique, the very first thing I taught any player that played for me. Early on, I learned that players can become easily distracted from their primary mission on the soccer field. This applies in any sport, basketball, football, baseball, rugby. There are so many things going on during a sport, so many things to capture your attention, and sometimes even lulls in activity that can leave you looking around for something to do. So, I created two questions, two very specific questions that I could teach the players to ask themselves after every transition and play. I taught them that after every pass, every time they received the ball, every time a goal was scored or a shot was taken, any time the ball went out of bounds, at literally any moment in time, they were to ask themselves these two questions Where am I? and What should I be doing? In soccer, these questions serve the player well. When a pass is made, asking where am I, and what should I be doing, helps the player understand their position on the field and how they should be moving to support the attack or to help in the defense. When a throw-in or a free kick was taken, asking these questions help the player know where to be on the pitch and how to best help the team. As the strikers sprint forward for an attack, the questions allowed the supporting players to be in position to accomplish the primary mission, scoring a goal. In internet marketing, where a successful online business is your goal, these questions help you regain focus on what you should specifically be doing toward that goal. When your goal is to create your simple, targeted website, you should not spend your time looking at Facebook. When it's time to create your follow up messages in your autoresponder, you shouldn't be reading emails. And, when your goal is to learn a new skill, it is no time to be watching a webinar that is not specific to that skill. So, remember, constantly ask yourself these questions, where am I, and what should I be doing? Ignore the bright, shiny objects, the distractions that keep you from your objective. Remember to choose a course and focus, follow one course until success. Apply these tips to both your online business and anything you do in life and see what a difference it makes to your focus. I'll see you online, soon.